the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go live. Peace. Hey, here with Kit Galahad in Boston, yeah. here for the Billy Joe Saunders yes, yes, press yes. conference. How yeah. you doing, brother? I'm good, bro. I'm good. Uh, we've got my own press conference as well. We're going to see our friend uh, Toko Kleri Khan and um, see what he looks like. So you will be on the undercard, correct? Yes, it's finally made for the IBF for the winner out of Warrington and Frampton. Now, we were just talking before turning this interview on. You said that the zone money is good money, right? It's, it's, they are forking out, they're giving out big money. Very good money. Life changing money? Uh, for some, yes. Depends what you call life changing money. Now, the reason we brought it up, you got these beautiful, beautiful Balenciagas. Yeah. You look like socks. Um, what are some opportunities that you look forward to taking advantage with the zone? Obviously, fighting in the United States is big. You'll be expanding your fan base. I'm sure uh, British fans, UK fans, they travel great as well. So I'm sure you'll have a lot of fans I'm coming. Say, first of all, the UK fans are the best fans in the world. Uh, so they will, they will definitely be traveling. Uh, Obviously, we're fighting in the US. We a lot of US fans coming over. But you, you know, in the US, we've got a shine. You know, when I go in, in the ring on 24th October, I'm not looking to pit pat or, you know, I don't want the fight to go 12 rounds. I'm going in there for blood. You're going in there I'm, for blood. I'm going in there for blood, and I'm going there to hit someone. Now you say that, and the reason I bring up fighting in the United States is a big opportunity, is because. For one, being on a platform like the Zone, getting a lot of buzz, a lot of big names. They yes. just signed Cristiano Ronaldo to, to the, the oh. Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah, yeah, Cristiano. Just, just just signed them to the team. Yeah. Um, a lot of big names getting signed as well. Uh, you're one of the buzzing names when people talk about uh, boxers to look out for on that side of the pond. Your name is always coming up. Yeah. So for you to get the opportunity to fight on this side of the pond and expand your fan base is big. Yeah. So you coming for blood? You trying to not just I'm make a statement? No, no, no. I'm, I'm here. To, to really, really stand out, you know. I'm not coming over to take part, you know. I'm, I'm looking to steal the show. I'm really coming to, to for people to remember, like, oh, yeah, that kid, that he can fight, man. This fight was the best fight of the night. I'm not looking here to tip tap. I'm really here to, to break bones. Can I just, can I just do a quick thing? Look at this. Let's just turn the camera on you. People, what do you think to his mustache? Have you seen him? It's just so many. Clowning. Yeah, I'm Clowning. trying to be serious, but I can't be serious with that moustache. I can't, I'm trying to take him serious. Clown, you said I had to shave the moustache. I mean, let's be honest. You want to talk my moustache is probably not the best. I mean, your hairline, but you know. You know, listen, I'm 28, year old, 28 years old. You're 22, and you're you're going bald. I am going bald, yes. At least I, my hairline's still there. My hairline's going back, but I've still got hair. It's still strong. By the time you're my... Yeah. Uh, right, right, right. He, yeah, he brought it up. Yep. He's, and that would be the mandatory for the uh, winner of Frampton and Warrington, correct? Yeah, that's correct. That is correct. That's the five we want. Um, then we get mandatory position. Then there's no excuses. There's no running. You know. Uh, hopefully they don't vacate the title and go somewhere else. Now, if that fight for whatever reason cannot be made. What are some other names that you it would... It has to be made, because you mandate this fight for the mandatory position. You know, uh, if not, they get stripped of the IBF, and then I'll be fine for the vacated IBF title. You know, uh, I think if Josh Warrington, Josh Warrington wins, I don't think he'll vacate. But if Frampton wins, I think, yeah, he will vacate, because he's done it before. You know, he was supposed to fight uh, Rugon Dow, I think, when he won the WBA off Scott Quigg, and he vacated, then I'd rather fight him, so... You know, hopefully Warrington wins and we have a, a big derby in, in Yorkshire. You know, he's from Leeds, I'm from Sheffield. It's right next to each other. It's a big, big fight. It'll be on the Zone TV as well because they're paying that big money. They are paying that big yeah. money. They are paying every every the Zone fighter that we speak to. You know, our listeners think that we're promoting the Zone. I'm like, we're just speaking facts. Every fighter that we have spoken to that signed with the Zone, 
Life changing money. Listen. Billy Joe, Billy Joe said my man went over and interviewed Billy Joe, interviewed you as well yeah. in Manchester. They hit his belly. Billy Joe was okay. He's like, don't worry, the zone money will pay for it. Every fighter that we speak to say the zone is really not just making the fights, but giving them the opportunity. I mean, you're talking you, Billy Joe, Boo Boo Andre, huge fight. Yeah. Yourself fighting the U.S., <laughs> Katie Taylor fighting the U.S. These are all big fights, and not just big fights for boxing, but big fights for American fans to get exposure to the British fighters as well. Listen, the fight is always going to go where the money is. So, you know, whoever's got the biggest money at the time, that's where the fighters are going to go to. The zone, pushing a lot of money into the, you know, into the product. And uh, that's where the big fighters are all going to start flocking today. Now, I don't want to get ahead, uh, too far ahead, but aside of yourself, because you are a very confident fighter, aside of yourself, you know, you know your talents and abilities, what are some of the other featherweights that you would like to get into the ring maybe at some point in the future what are some featherweights that have caught your attention uh, you know there's, there's a few you know any of the world champions leo santa cruz you've got guy russell jr you've got um, joseph diaz you know they're the names i want you know but first of all gotta do a job on this toko clear card then i've got you know you know uh, the english team we've got fighters like carl frampton you know uh, We've got fighters like Scott Quigg, um, and we've got Josh Warrington. You Scott Quigg will also be on the undercard yeah, too. Yeah, you know, correct? Josh, Scott Quigg, um, mm, he's come up short. I think if I beat him now, people expect that anyway. So, you know, um, I'd rather fight Warrington or, you know, Frampton. I think, you know, I think we're the leading three. You know. I mean, Scott Quigg, uh, he did come up short, but he did give Oscar Valdez a hell of a fight. Yeah, but he come up short. You know, and you don't get you don't get anything for coming second place, do you? You know, uh, he's always come up, in his biggest fights. He's always come up short, you know. And obviously, if the money's right, then yeah, of course I'd fight him. But you know, uh, why would I give him that opportunity that he would never give me? You know, I think even if I was world champion and he offered him five million quid, he probably won't fight me because he knows I'd pace him from pillar to post. Because me and him, you know, personally, I don't really like him. You know, he's. He thinks he's better than he is. You know, I think he, he comes across very ignorant. You know, he thinks he's better than some people. You know, I'd really love to smash him. Well, first things first, you have to take care of business October yeah, 20th. October 20th. Um, if you do take care of business, I will do. Don't worry about that. That'll put you in that mandatory position yeah. for a big fight. Yeah. Uh, a fight that should probably take place across the pond just because it do bigger numbers there yeah, than it would here. Yeah, of course, here. you know, especially, you know, if it is Warrington, you know, if it's Warrington, it'll be at old Yorkshire Derby. Even if it's Carl Frampton, you know, uh, Carl Frampton does big numbers in Ireland. So, you know, uh, hopefully the zone will win, you know, the purse bids for that. And then we'll get on the zone and we'll fight for big money. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, for the American fans that yeah. don't know you, uh, they will get the chance to know you come October the 20th. October the 20th, tune in, Kid Galahad. I'll be on the other card. Um, I'm coming for blood. I ain't coming to tip tap or you know, mess about or funny about. I'm here to really hurt someone. I know the American fans, you know, they love blood. You know, they don't, they don't want you to go in there and you know, fancy and dance about. And uh, October 20th, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in there and smash someone up. Well, thank you very much for the time. Can you tell uh, fans where to follow you on social media so they? Can can't keep on, up with you. My name on Instagram is Kid Galahad at 90 or Barry Awad. Um, on Instagram, Kid Galahad. And uh, follow me. Thank you very much for your time, Chad. What is up, TPV family? Yes, yes, YouTube has been cutting funding to uh, their channels as of late and with net neutrality uh, going through th its process. The internet is changing. If you want to keep your favorite channel intact, coming up with tons of content and plus get hours and hours of extra content, head over to patreon.com forward slash the boxing voice uh, to become a member of the TBV family and help support the channel. Peace.